hey friend what's good you welcome back to the channel it's your first time stopping by my name is marys pieces kindly smash that subscribe button like this video and comment below if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to the channel baby give this video a thumbs up yeah so now that we're done with commercials let's get right into the main video shall we okay so <laughs> so um in this video i'm going to be sharing my personal opinion on best places to live in port Harcourt. feel free to oppose my opinion everybody's entitled to their own personal opinion so feel free to disagree that's on you Shh. personally i feel like not every place you should not stay in every place in portal court and especially if you're coming from somewhere else like i have more people viewing from outside portal court that's why i make videos like this to help people from coming from wherever down to portal court to help them you know navigate basically if you're based in lagos or abuja houses in portal court won't be expensive for you like it's it won't be that expensive for you because of the prices you hear and the quality of houses you see here there, there are so many spec there are so many speculations about portal that portal court is this portal court is that and there are places you can go in portal court that you actually experience those things and there are places you can stay in portal court that you won't even experience those things that you hear about portal court so it's best to stay in the place where you don't experience those things okay number one is old gra now old gra like the name implies that's where you find old money because old gra old money that's where you find um basically people in government that's where you find them that's where you just find old money and houses there are more pricey compared to some other place i'll mention houses they are quite expensive to be honest but just if you're okay with paying millions maybe three million and above it might even be more than three million but i just i would advise you to use um property pro and gg to check the price range of houses in those areas now just since you're going to know the names it's just you just have to type um the name on gg or property pro and then you can see like options you can see the price range of these houses so maybe three million and above i don't know but just if you can pay in millions if that's not a problem for you then you should look at places like ojr in terms of security and lights and stuff like that so number one is old gro G <laughs> number one is old gra where the old money resides okay number two place you can stay in protocol number two best place you can stay in protocol is new gra now new gra is where you find a lot of um clubs you find hangout locations and it's divided into phases where you have phase one um phase two phase this phase that you know houses there are also expensive because it's gra i feel like anywhere any part of the world where you hear gra means it's residential area it's going to be pricey it's going to be a bit more expensive or a lot more expensive compared to other places right so new gra is definitely another place you should look out for or check out if you are coming to port Harcourt or if you yeah if you're coming to port Harcourt and you want to settle at a nice place new gra is also another option for you and number three is peter audley road that place is named named after a former governor peter audley um that is also another environment that is conducive light and security um check mm -hmm. around peter audley i think you can find houses below one million for studio studio apartments or self contents you can see somewhere around maybe three hundred thousand and above for studio apartment i'm just telling you places that you can stay at best in terms of security water in terms of lights you know those kind of things and the next place number four is golf estate golf estate is also around peter audley but this is an estate where there are many houses like this is also another option for you still 
under Peter Audley, but it's a very very nice estate. I'm sure a lot of people know about Gulf Estate, but if you don't know, it's an estate where you can find luxurious apartments. I just feel like if you want to stay around Gulf Estate, just think of two million and above. But I think around the extension, you should get one point something million above. Then the actual Gulf Estate will definitely be much more expensive than that let me not say much more expensive but it should definitely be more expensive so if you're coming to put what you're getting you're getting a nice house you know like lucky that is flooded no offense to people saying in lucky but i mean when it rains it floods then there are places some of these places i'm telling you about maybe some areas flood maybe peter Lee might flood i don't know all these houses i'm mentioning all these areas i'm mentioning these are places where you can enjoy security water and light you know yeah so another place is woji that is and um, then there is woji estate woji estate you can also find like very nice luxurious apartments in woji estate as well so moving on the next area you can see nice places is nta slash mboba now this this area you can see houses for like lesser amount it's not as expensive you can see houses you can see a one bedroom flat somewhere around 300 and something thousand if it's in an estate you can get 700 and something k or so but if it's just around just there you can get houses for like 350k for one bedroom flat so these areas are nice in terms of lights they have lights in these areas but if you stay in an estate it's to you are at a better advantage if you stay in an estate in nta or Mboba because there you enjoy light more like cornerstone is it cornerstone or cornerstone cornerstone area all those places they have light because um i think there's there are radio stations around there so they have light in terms of security in these areas if you stay in an estate i believe security is much more guaranteed compared to when you don't stay in an estate so that's that for that Okay, NTA slash Mboba is another good place. Next place you can stay in Portacourt is Mercy Land. So if you stay in the estate, any of the estates in Mercy Land, you're going to enjoy more security. But like the security there is not as tight as the security in other places like GRA and Gulf Estate. You know, from top to least best places you can stay. So I've mentioned like from the best, which is OGRA nigeria and then i'm coming down to places where security is you know 50 50 but it's still okay like messy land you can see enjoy security but lights is guaranteed okay lights is guaranteed those are like some of the best places you can stay in portacourt but then there are also other places you can stay there okay like portacourt has many nice places you can stay and see enjoy security and lights there are plenty plenty many of them but these are places i know of reputable places that i know of okay if you're looking for houses in town some other options you could consider is eliozu Rumodara, elekaya yeah so if you need i know elekaya is a nice place yes like elekaya is a nice place but i don't know about their light situation i think they do have light to an extent i don't know about the security as well these areas i cannot guarantee for security or light but these areas i've heard that these areas are nice to stay in you know but make your research ask questions properly before you stay in any of these areas so these are just like other options to consider check on gg or property pro to give you um to give you an estimate of what houses in these areas cost because i don't want to say my own assumption like price as in assumptions and then it turns out i'm completely wrong and i don't know what you you want you might want a studio apartment you might want a flat so just make your research depends on that but i just i'm just giving you guys the best areas to stay in portacourt so what you choose to do with that it's up to you there are other places that are also good to stay they are best to stay in but these are in terms of prices only okay i cannot guarantee for security or lights but in terms of prices places where you get like cheaper houses if you're looking for something affordable and you know 
you don't care about security you don't care about lights because if you don't care about those things then okay these areas i'm about to mention you can definitely stay in those areas first area you can stay in that you can find houses cheap or affordable is choba but you're going to see more studio apartments in these areas because it's mostly occupied by students so first area is choba you're going to see light sometimes they might rob you once once <laughs> because it's student environment but just know that houses are cheaper compared to houses in town houses you get around choba for like one for hundred thousand one twenty thousand one eighty thousand one sixty thousand in town you can get it for 300k so that's what i mean by affordable because i've gone house hunting in town and i've seen the prices and i've seen the small houses there and then i've gone house hunting around uniport area so I, I can tell you for sure that houses around here especially students um studio apartments are more cheaper alakaya you can also get houses from hundred thousand and above um alo you can also get houses from you can in Alu you can get houses from even from like sixty thousand. I'm talking about studio apartments, self contained You can get them from like sixty thousand. Houses in Alu are cheaper, but security I cannot even guarantee for security. But light too, I still cannot guarantee that you have light like that. They don't have light like that, like Chuba and Alakaya. But at least now they are trying. They have light now compared to before alo has light now but if you don't mind all those things if you want to buy your own gen and you know go full force good for you but this like i said these areas are all around uniport and they are accessible to school if you're coming over here to school in uniport very good for you as well these areas are accessible to school 15 era 100 era you're already in school so and there are school buses also around these areas so alu is another option houses are way cheaper there compared to any other place that i'll mention but then like i said they don't have lights and security i cannot guarantee they don't have light like that and security i cannot guarantee for sure and houses they are affordable and they are fine okay another place is um rumo c rumo c is also accessible to school and um there you find both students and married people a lot like in rumors it's not a student environment like that but some students stay there it's more like it's a town like but it's close to school you can find affordable houses there like 150k 120k depends on what you're looking for but if you the cheaper the house the lower the quality of the house there like everywhere sharp but if you're getting a house of 120 rumors it might be one family compound where you might see the landlord living there it might be one equary woman that is angry with life and tired of and frustrated with her, with her life and pouring her frustration on you so if you have little money that you want to just manage your life you can just stay around the student environment as long as you've built your mind up for anything and by anything i mean theft like robbery student environment they're going to steal steal phones they're going to steal laptops but there are some places you go to they have more security some compounds have more security some do not have i will not advise you saying house that does not have gates and even houses that have gates they still rob but it's all we're all living by the grace of god and that's all i can say just be sure that wherever you're going to ask questions be sure it has security ask questions ask where if even if you have to knock on the doors of the people living there and ask ask questions it does not even matter the area like no matter where you're going to no matter where you want to stay ask questions so this place gets flooded as this place been robbed before ask the tenants because some of those agents they will not tell you some of them don't even know some of the caretaker will not tell you because they don't want to ruin their chance of having a new um tenant so ask the people there already ask them whatever you feel that you want to know and they will tell you at least like one or two persons before you pay money okay if you're planning on moving to port Harcourt, i hope this video helps you and if you have any questions or suggestion or if you think i did not mention any other place you can comment below if you have any questions as well you can comment below or 
um message me on instagram at married peters i'll put my link on the screen and i will reply you wherever you drop a message i'll reply you okay so if you've watched this point and you've not subscribed what are you waiting for kindly subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video love and light bye 27 minutes ah. oh.